So as a biological anthropologist here in the department, I oftentimes get uh, phone calls and texts from the police asking to look at skeletal remains that have been found in all kinds of different contexts. And it's never been human until this case. So I found coffin wood and older nails that predated 1886. So this was definitely a historic burial. While I was excavating the burial, the police were calling around to local historians to try to find information about the area. Um, and that's when they found out that the original poor house had been located very close to this area and that this portion of the poor house grounds had been used as a burial ground. So once we removed the remains from the site, we brought them back to the lab. So the first step is washing. We try to get them as cleaned up as possible. There's no other way to do that before we try to like put it back together. Um, and then it's like a big jigsaw puzzle. I am very excited about this research. I love to learn about the human body. So being able to do hands-on research to actually see what goes on inside of us is very exciting. So it's not complete because it was found with a backhoe. So we, we are missing quite a bit of the skeleton, including a very important part, which is the pelvis, which is the best bone for assessing biological sex and also age. But from the femur bone, which is the upper bone of the leg, which is very well preserved, um, it appears to be male. So it's a pretty big bone. I could tell, can tell that he was heavily muscled. Looks like his teeth were fairly healthy. I think this is a great opportunity to be able to learn more about the history of Geneseo. It is already a historical town, but this just gives even more history to it. A lot of people don't know about the history of the poorhouses. Every county in New York State had them. I think that giving some kind of identity and voice to this person is very important. It's a great way for the community to learn about our own history here and how we treat the most vulnerable.